please tell me insomnia isn't a symptom of early pregnancy. <sighs> that you don't know for sure yet, right? A woman knows, Jenna. I can just feel it. Yeah, but you haven't taken a test. I can't. Not for like four more days. Not a home test, but what about going to a clinic after school for a blood test? I have to meet Lee from MIT and give her my decision. What are you gonna say? I have no idea. Surprise! You said you wanted a new one. Wow. For your party tonight, in honor of your acceptance to MIT? You guys really don't have to make such a big fuss. Of course I do. I've invited the family. You can invite some friends. We'll all get fancy and celebrate your brilliance. I will never make it to the day if I don't know for sure. Okay, I'll just go to the clinic at lunch. One way or another, today my life changes forever. Take a bite. Seriously, seriously, you won't regret it. Right? Organic. Imagine tomatoes, cucumbers, grapes, all growing on the roof. Farmed by students, for students to eat. Wow. This is, wow. We also have plans for a stage, a meditation garden, flower planters. Degrassi needs this green roof. And with the school board grant, it'll be more or less free. Guys. I love it. <laughs> These plans are so professional. Did you get someone to help you draw them up? No, no, no. All me. My dad owns this construction company. I've been around it my whole life, so. Wow. And I trust your dad will be a part of the project, right? Oh, uh... Of course, of course. I mean, we already talked to him. He'll be there. Oh, okay. Well, great. <laughs> um, get to work. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> right, that's the reading list. Still have to chase down a few textbooks, but playing catch up for grade 12 English won't be easy. You are a brave woman. Really don't have to help me. I want to, with everything. It's really sweet of you, but I haven't even got my head around how I'm gonna do all of this extra schoolwork while being pregnant. You still gonna go to MIT? You said you'd be supportive. Look, are you ready to leave? Miss Grad and prom, Claire and Jenna, me, and then spend the last few months buried in books? I guess I hadn't really thought of that. But what about my parents? If I give up on MIT to have a baby, they would disown me. Look, I, I talked to my parents, and they're not happy about it, but they want you to know that you always have a place at the Turner House. You told your parents. They saw me freaking out. I had to talk to someone. I'm trying to do the right thing here. And that's having a baby in your parents' basement? What choice do we have? I know this is hard, okay, but I have a plan. You graduate early, we have the baby, you defer for a year, I graduate, and then we'll all go together. MIT. Yeah, I mean, I'll stay home and take care of the little cute bandana or whatever. It could be perfect. Wow. 
Wow. I feel so underdressed. Huh? Oh, uh, game day. We have to wear this stuff. Yeah, I saw some of the other guys wearing it. Mm. Must be kind of cool having your own well-dressed gang at school. You okay? <sighs> Pre-game jitters, I guess. Ha! <laughs> Clovers. Sure could have used some luck last game. Thought you are supposed to be a superstar. Shut it, Mo. Cam will probably score three goals tonight. Just mind your own business, okay? Thanks for coming with me. You're doing the right thing here. Yep. This test will make my decision for me. If I'm pregnant, I'll stay here with Dave, and if not, MIT, here I come. That is not the right thing. No matter what this test says, you can't stay for a boy. It's not just for a boy. Maybe I'm not ready to leave. One of the greatest schools in the world wants you to help them eradicate breast cancer. What if the test is positive? Dave wants to keep the baby. What do you want? I mean, you have options, right? All done. When do I get the results? We'll call you when they're back from the lab. What do I do? Figure out what's in your heart. Come on, Kimo. It's game day. Are you stalking me? No, I'm lost, I swear. Oh, like yesterday? You know what? I'm gonna go tell Simpson that the hockey team has a pervert stalker. We'll see how the NHL likes those. No, please, please, please don't, please. Look, I'm sorry about yesterday. I was trying to impress the guys and... Now they think I'm a huge loser. They're not wrong. How am I supposed to survive a whole season here? I have no friends. My hockey team hates me. My family is thousands of miles away and... I'm crying in the girls' bathroom. Okay. Relax. Aren't you supposed to be like the team hotshot? Yeah, I guess. Well, then the other dudes are probably just jealous. And that's why they make fun of me? They make fun of you because you let them. Ignore them. In two years, you're going to be in the NHL. And they're going to be mall security guards. And we can all go hot garbage at them. <laughs> okay, now get out of here before someone else thinks you're a perv. And kid? High school sucks. Spend time here with people who don't. Okay, so what's first? Hey, you start the frame, I'll reroute the plumbing for the sprinklers. Right, um, hey, what if Simpson comes up and sees your dad isn't here? Say, we went for coffee. And if he keeps checking on us and your dad's never here? I don't want my dad's help. I want to build this green roof and prove to him I know what I'm doing. Well, do you know what you're doing? For the last time, yes. Oh. Jake! Don't worry! I got this! Honestly, I'm ecstatic you'll be joining us at MIT. Just sign this letter of intent and we're all set. Actually, I'd, I'd like to defer for a year. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not possible. But people defer all the time. Regular admission. This is a special scholarship for my lab. Which will still exist in a year. You're a perfect fit because your research and interest and intellect match the needs for our project now. In a year, science will have moved on. And I think you're on the right track. At MIT, you'll have access to whatever compounds you'll need. A breathalyzer, test subjects, 
You won't have to do this on a budget. If you really don't want it, I have to move on to the next candidate. Let me know as soon as possible. <laughs> Not a word to my wife. You're still gonna go through with this party. You haven't told your parents? Not yet. What if I didn't have the baby? You mean? Ali, I could never. I can't defer MIT. I asked. So we'll get you to another school. I guess. Guests will be arriving soon. Aliyah, let's go get dressed. Okay. I don't know where the main shut up valve is. Give me a sec, I can fix this. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, Jake? 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 Jake, oh. can you call your dad now? Fine, fine. No, no answer. Should we, should we call Simpson? And admit we lied, he'll shut us down. Then what? March down to my dad's reno and drag him back here? If you don't go get him, the roof's gonna collapse. And it's pretty hard to build a roof garden without a roof. Okay. <sighs> Take my breath away. You are both brains and beauty. I thought these might look nice. What's wrong? Just so much. You are a strong young woman. You can do this. I'm only 16. I'll be so far away from you. What if we never get to talk? I wore this sari to my engagement party. Soon after came marriage, you and Sam, this house. But I was once good at science too, you know? You were? Mm. Chemistry. <laughs> I've forgotten it all now, of course. Never got a chance to use it. But you, MIT wants you. You can change the world. Will you be disappointed if I don't? It's your choice, Aaliyah. It's your life. If you do something else entirely or stay at home with the family like I did, I'll still be so proud of you. But you can't blame a mother for wanting her daughter to have every opportunity. Oh, the guests are here. Come, you should welcome them with a toast. <laughs> Back here. Bo's gonna tell us how easy the girls were in Sweden. Life sure is full of twists, huh? <laughs> and there is no map. But if you're lucky enough along the way, you meet some amazing tour guides. Mom and Dad. Claire and Jenna, Dave, I've gotten lost along the way, made some seriously wrong turns, and now my path has taken an unexpected direction. To MIT. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll miss you all very, very much. You decided to build an entire rooftop structure on your own, huh? Didn't think to call a plumber? 
I'm an engineer to check that roof. I'm pretty sure that thing can't support a garden. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm too, I'm too dumb for your stupid company. Can we move on? Oh, too dumb? Yeah, well, that's why you wanted me off the rental, right? Jake, if anything, you're too smart, OK? I wasn't trying to keep you off the project. I'm trying to keep you in school. You're 17. I don't want to see you locked in the construction business from here to eternity. Yeah, but, Dad, I want to be. I mean, I love it. And I was trying to prove that to you with all this, but. All right, look, how about a compromise, OK? I will help you build a garden somewhere here at the school, and we can test out some of these enviro ideas without risking any overruns on an actual job. If what? If you apply to university. Dad. Hey, look, you don't have to go, OK? Just don't close any doors yet. You know, Martin's construction's always going to be here. Martin Martin construction? Martin and son. Come here. <laughs> Get to work. I brought you some more barfy. So that's just it. You're going. You, know, you can't do this just because your parents want you to. I want me to. Sure, and what if you're pregnant? You're staying then, right? I had a pregnancy test at a clinic. And I'm still waiting for the results. But no matter what, I've decided that I can't have a baby right now. Ali. We're too young. It's my life and my body, and we can't just throw away our futures. It's me you're throwing away here, right? <sighs> right? I mean, you want to get so far away from me that you're willing to have an abortion to do it. Dave. Like, how selfish can you be? Dave, shh. I just can't imagine my life here without you. But obviously, you can imagine your life without me. Or else you wouldn't have made these decisions on your own. Whatever. Enjoy your stupid party. Dave, wait. <sighs> Your phone. It's the clinic. Hold my hand. Hello? Yeah, this is Alia Bandari. It was good to finally win, eh, boys? Hey, that's it, bro. The last two slices go to our goal scores. <laughs> Me? A little camp. Hey. What are you having? Come on. Let me help. Fine. Cream soda. Excuse me? Yeah. Uh, can I get one cream soda, please? Look, I'm sorry about what happened this morning. This morning? Oh, right. When I tried to help you and you yelled at me in front of the entire cab. I know. I was an idiot. I was nervous. I... I took it out on you. Can you ever forgive me? I guess. Looks like you beat your nerves anyway. You scored, right? Yeah, finally. Guess those uh, lucky four leaf clover boxers worked. But no, I think it's cool. I have clovers too. <sighs> Needed luck for my cello exam tonight. I passed. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Better get back to the fam, but thank you for the drink. Hey, um, do you maybe want to hang out sometime? Like after school? Yeah, sure. I like that, yeah. Should anyone find a pair of spectacles, they belong to Mr. Townsend. Thank you.
I got your text. Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry about yesterday. I sort of lost my mind. Yeah, I'm sorry too. So I'm definitely going to MIT next year. I signed the papers and everything. It's official. Well, Ali, that's, that's really good. That's really good for you. I want you to know that I do support you. I mean, we can get through anything, right? Um, well, the next few months are going to be really busy with my extra classes, my research, your play. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, the clinic called. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, my God. No more big decisions, no more freaking out. We can go back to being a normal couple. And you're not happy. I am. But I nearly jeopardized my entire future by having sex with you. I really hope we find time to hang out, but from now on, my priorities are my schoolwork and my research. I gotta get to class. I love you, Ali. I know.